Sarah, okay, the president maybe wasn't as clear as it could have been, but he's hearing a lot of inputs from the medical community about all these, this is new, that's new, this is an innovation. So was he telling Americans to drink Clorox? Really? Absolutely. Absolutely not. Laura, these are journalists that don't let the facts stand in the way of their lies. They hate Donald Trump, the president, so much that they'll twist his words whenever they can at the expense of the American people. Any American and anybody with common sense that watched his briefing knows that he didn't do this. But remember, Laura, this is the same kind of attitude, the same kind of attitude that they took with the Russia hoax when they lied to the American public that they did with Lieutenant General Michael Flynn and why it was so easy for them to believe all of the lies that were being spewed by former senior mm -hmm. Obama officials. They just continue to do the same thing over and over again. But this is why the president does the right thing. He gets out there every single day, does these briefings directly with the American people and just cuts out the middleman, which are the Trump hating media. Yeah, well, I gotta tell you, Adam, when I, I'm watching this and I think, did he say Clorox and Lysol? And so like Lysol comes out with some big statement and. I guess people could take words and I mean, I guess they could, but it, you really get the sense that the media are trying to drive this narrative that Trump not only doesn't want to save American lives, but he's basically just, you know, the, the Terminator here, <laughs> but not in a good way. Well, not, not only that, it seems like they're on the other side. Trump is trying to fight the disease and I'd swear that some of them are rooting for the disease. They rooted against hydroxychloroquine working. They were hoping it wouldn't work. They're rooting against sunlight killing it. They're rooting against the summer heat wave killing it. You'd swear they're for the disease. The only advisable actions that they offer are to A, freak out, and B, worship Andrew Cuomo. That's all they've got. Yeah, well, I, I, again, any bit of good news or treatment that even helps some people is immediately discounted if Donald Trump uh, in any way advocates for it. All right.